Can taste them on every puff. Breaking down buzz till my fingers get cramped. Light it up and watch the side stream start to dance. While it's in the air, while I'm climb like a ladder. How much I'm putting in don't even matter. Long roads got me breathing in all the turps. Five hits in the effects. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tubla Marley. It's certified pothead. Smoke it all with a uh, Late afternoon, early, early evening, uh, spliffs. Today we jumping back into these cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory involves um the Bermuda Triangle. Is it possible that cannabis didn't originate from this world, but instead of being a simple plant, it was a gift from the Bermuda Triangle, a leafy souvenir from a different realm? Stay with me for a second. Imagine ancient sellers already lost at sea, right? Battling storms, a hunger, what is it, a scurvy. And imagine they like just wander and end up in the Bermuda Triangle. And what do they find? Not a treasure, but a plant. A plant that seems to have powers beyond their understanding. A plant that can not only make you feel wonderful, but could also feed and sustain you. Maybe this is another wild theory. Kind of like the one where your dog speaks to you. But stick with me for a second. Before we dive in right, I have to act. Does anyone think the Bermuda Triangle gets a bad rap? I mean, sure, things disappear there. But couldn't it be that the Bermuda Triangle is just like the junk drawer of the universe? Where instead of just like lost batteries or random screwdriver, you have lost planes, ships, that type of stuff there. What if it's just like a cosmic drunk drawer? Here's a riddle for you. What has to be broken before you can use it? So the Bermuda Triangle, right? We all know the story. Ships vanish and planes disappear compasses go haywire and stuff there sometimes the weather shifts faster than by drifting in tokyo people have been puzzled by this spot in the ocean for centuries christopher columbus reported seeing strange lights in the sky and since then the triangle have been the setting for more stories and theories than bigfoot but what if what if just just hear me though Bermuda triangle is more than just a vortex of doom what if it's a mystical gate kind of like it interdimensional bus stop where strange things get dropped off and even stranger things get picked up if what what if one day a group of ancient sailors right stumbled across an island in this magical triangle a place where time doesn't work the same where reality seems more flexible than a slinky going down the steps and on this island right they find this green herb unlike anything that's ever been on the planet before in this plant they believe is a gift from the god or maybe it's not a gift from the God. It's just an interdimensional new plant that just happens to be here at this time. I mean, think about it, right? You a seller, lost that seat. You're hallucinating from hunger, sleep deprivation, questionable decisions you have made on the trip. Do you find this plant that makes you feel, well, let's say different. Wouldn't you think you discovered something magical? Wouldn't you think that consuming this plant and not be getting all the effects of it is something otherworldly? Here's another riddle for you. What question can you never answer yes to? Let's go with this idea, right? Ancient sellers find this mystical plant on this disappearing island in the Bermuda Triangle. They don't know where they are. They don't know what's happening. But they do know one thing. This plant is special. It's not just some regular herb that's been passed around through Africa, China, Asia, Europe, and all of that type of stuff. This is something different. It's the kind of thing that might explain why they're seeing things they can't explain. That may explain mermaids for them. End up in the Bermuda Triangle. Get to smoke with some of this dank. Get super high and all of a sudden you just think super big fish are mermaids. Either way, right? They figure out, let's take some of this with us when we leave. So they travel the globe. They bring the cannabis along for the ride. And like water bound Johnny Apple seeds, they spread it around the globe. From the markets to Egypt to the tip of the India, cannabis spreads like crazy. Passed from one generation to another generation. Egypt is used for healing and India is, takes part in like religious rituals. Over time, the mystical plant adopts to different climates and cultures, flourishing across the globe and the world. Like a, like a hitchhiker. You know, maybe, maybe those sellers were on to something. I mean, think about the way we treat cannabis today. It's seen as medicinal, recreational, spiritual, and thousand other things depending on who you talk to. Could it be that this plant, with this mysterious effects and ability to bridge cultural gaps, really has some other really origins? Or maybe it's just a plant that's really good at doing what plants do. But I'll say this though, the idea that it might have been brought to us by some type of mythical force, that's a story I could roll with. I could, I could roll with. Here's another riddle for you, right? There's a one-story house in which everything is yellow. Yellow walls, yellow doors. 
and yellow furniture. What color are the stairs? Now let's say, right, the sellers didn't just stumble upon a regular plant, but one with mystical properties. What would that mean? Well, according to some stories, cannabis has the power to alter perception, open the mind to new possibilities, and even bend time and space. At least that's what you might think after smoking a little bit. And these sellers already in a place where rules seem like just guidelines may have believed that this herb was a direct line to the gods, or at very least, a way to make sense of the strange world around them. Here's the thing, right? How often do we attribute mystical powers to things that we just don't understand? I mean, the compass, right? The compass was considered magic at one point. Now it's just something we take for granted. Maybe cannabis was like that for the sellers. Maybe it really did give them a glimpse into the divine. Either way, it's kind of funny how we look for being things that make us feel different isn't it like we're hardwired to find magic in the mundane or maybe the mundane is just a little more magical than we think that just burnt my damn finger here's a um another riddle for you what can you break even if you never pick it up or touch it fast forward to the day right cannabis is becoming the global phenomenon it's used for medicine recreation and spiritual enlightenment sometimes all in the same weekend but could this ability right to bring people together and heal both body and mind being that it's otherworldly or came from a different realm, such as the Bermuda Triangle, this thing keep going out on. Or is that just me projecting a little magic onto something that I like smoking? All right, we've come full circle on this, right? Sellers found this plant, thought it was something that had mystical powers. And now, even with all our science and understanding, some people still think that cannabis is like the miracle cure or creative muse. Or the answers to life's big question. Maybe it is. Maybe, maybe I'm just over here. I mean, I am. I am high. But whatever. In conclusion, is cannabis a mystical gift for the beauty trying it? Or is this just another idea? Cannabis conspiracy theory. Honestly, we don't know, bro, but it's fun to think about whether cannabis is a mystical thing that comes from the beauty triangle or if it's just a good plant. I'm going to still keep kicking around these ideas. See, 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 see what happens, bro. Answers to the riddles, bro. An egg. Are you sleep yet? It's a one story house and a promise. I'm going to holler at y'all next time.